Hello all, the practitioner here. Welcome to my new trick called uh, pair, uh, pair based color change. This trick was taught to me by a um, skater magi uh, by a skater and magician who works at my local magic shop and he and I will often exchange tricks or what have you. Um, I taught him one of my new um, mentalism based cut techniques. Uh, he taught me a um, new card trick on, uh, on color changes. Um, that was actually after I tried to show him my new trick, the Forever, Forever Floundered 4. He was suggesting an upgrade. This was it. So anyway, here's my cool new... Uh, anyway, as you can see, um, the deck here is uh, effectively standardized. There's not really much to it. Still, let's just pick a random card. You know what? I'm feeling lucky. Let's use the Aces today. As you can see, standard um, Ace of Diamonds here. There's not really much to it. It's just a standard card. And what we're going to do is we're just going to stick it down here. And you know what? Now we've got to find the second red ace. This shouldn't be too difficult. Um, oh, crap. Hang on. Guess i got to snap it to the top. Here we go. Ace of hearts. Top card. Like I said, just pretty much your same basic card. Here's what's going to happen. We're going to take the ace of diamonds. Uh, we're going to just put that over here for now. We're going to take the ace of diamonds, which I put over here. And we're going to stick that... Uh, reversed on the top of the pack, okay? So we're just going to stick that right there. And now we'll just take the um, Ace of Hearts from earlier. Sorry. Just take the Ace of Hearts. So like I said, we have the Ace of Hearts in this hand, the Ace of Diamonds on reversed on top of the deck. So now watch. I want you to take a look. I'm just going to take it and I'm going to give it a quick rub. But lo and behold, when I do that, I've been able to turn it into the Ace of Spades and the Ace of Clubs. And that's pretty much it. That's the pair base color change. Uh, give it a little bit of a quick reverse here. Um, you know what? Just give it a snap just to be safe. And with any luck, when I pull, I've been able to get them both to turn red again. And that's pretty much it. Just give this guy a flip over, and that's pretty much the end of the trick. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Yeah, it's just a little uh, thing I've been cooking up for a while, you know, kind of getting some practice on. Anyway, that's the pair base color change. Um, it was the suggested upgrade by a fellow magician to my Forever Floundered 4 trick. And, uh, yeah. Actually, uh, for those of you who know how to do the invisible aces, the uh, palming technique, uh, for you know, the invisible palm and all that, uh, for the four aces, that would be a really, really good trick uh, to warm that up. And then you can prep and, uh, that the snap change if you do that with aces, the color change. Do that as a pretext, and then um, do it as a pretext... Uh, get somewhat then uh, do one of the mentalism based techniques without uh, without any props required so this way um, while they're thinking about their number or letter or whatever you or whatever you're having um, you can have them doing that uh, as a misdirection while you're getting set up for your next trick and you have all the aces right there to get started for the ace invisibility trick um, so yeah uh, just a fellow tip to magicians uh, for those of you who are watching who aren't magicians I hope you enjoyed that trick and um, yeah I got a couple of others up my sleeve actually you know what um, let's just do one more, just for the hell of it. Um, just a reminder to people. Let's see how good your basic arithmetic from grade school is. What's 8 plus 1? 9. I hope uh, that helped. And, uh, let's see. Oh, I know. There's one more trick I can do while, um, and then I'll call it quits for tonight. Uh, let's see. Just need to find a red nine kicking around in here somewhere. There's that. Uh, there's that old nine of diamonds from the last trick I pulled. Nine of diamonds left back at the top. Watch closely. Color change. There you go. That's pretty much it. And you know what? Oh, sorry. Screw that up. Try that again. And that's my own variation of the disappearing card trick. Great for people who have um, coordination issues and uh, autistic spectrum disorders. Anyway, uh, this is a couple of my usual uh, card tricks and probably stuff I've performed more times than I can count. Um, stay tuned for my next uh, bunch of videos. I'm going to actually have some new stage stuff I'm working on. Um couple of new prototypes, that sort of thing. I hope you'll enjoy. And uh, in the meantime, happy trails. See you around.